how to use the keyframe editor in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.3's edit window. For this video in this project, I will apply keyframes to the zoom setting at the zero and three second mark to create a gentle zoom in effect. What if you wanted to change the point in your video where these keyframe settings apply? So in this video, for example, how can I expand the zoom effect so that it lasts for five seconds instead of three? With the video clip selected on your timeline, hold in Control and press Shift and C. Use Command instead of Control if you are a Mac user. And inside your video edit, you should see the keyframe locations drop down and appear in white diamond icons with the attribute category appearing above this. In this case here, since I applied a zoom effect to my video, the transform label is displayed. At present, the red playhead is located at the three second mark where my second keyframe is applied. If I click on the diamond icon inside my video edit and drag the keyframe to a later stage in my video, the box to the bottom right indicates that I have moved the keyframe forward by two seconds. Once letting go and previewing the video from the start, we can now see that the zoom effect lasts for 5 seconds instead of 3. If you have applied a keyframe to the very first frame of your video clip, you won't be able to adjust the position of this on your edit. In order to do so, select the icon which appears next to the white keyframe diamond icon inside your edit with the curled line and the two points to reveal a keyframe chart with the relevant attributes that you've applied keyframe settings to. The keyframes can be identified by the white circles with the change in value applied to these represented by the blue line which appears. Unlike in the previous keyframe editor, these points can be dragged vertically. Dragging a keyframe pointer upwards will increase the value assigned to these attributes. So in here for example, the black box which appears to the bottom right of my mouse cursor has two values underneath the attribute zoom x. The first value on the left represents the amount of time that you've moved your keyframe across a screen by both seconds and frames. Here in this case I've moved this particular keyframe one frame forward and the number to the right represents the new value assigned to the attribute with the keyframe. In this case here the value for zoom x will now be 1.85. Dragging the keyframe pointer down will decrease this value and unlike in the previous keyframe editor we can select and drag the keyframe which is attached to the very first frame of our video. Dragging this both horizontally to change the point on the timeline that this keyframe applies to, as well as the value assigned to this particular Zoom X attribute. To identify other properties that you've applied keyframes to, select the arrow next to the attribute that you are adjusting keyframes of. Should any of these contain keyframes, there will be a tick alongside. And use the arrows next to the diamond icon in the top right corner to shift between keyframes. The background music in this video is provided by the proud channel sponsor Audio, a link to the company's website and to one that will provide a discounted purchase of a lifetime supply of music and sound effects can be found in this video's description box. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.